what's going on everybody? Trans Spirit Indigo here, a transgender human being having a spiritual experience and a grown indigo kid. What's going on everybody? So how has everybody's week been going thus far? Today is Monday here and I wanted to make a quick video in the car. Got some beautiful sunshine going on here in the background. So I was thinking about how spirituality, everything spiritual has blended with me being transgender and how the two intertwine for me personally. I was wondering how many of you out there do you feel that? Have you come to the point in your life as well to where all things spiritual seem to matter more than your gender? Now don't get me wrong, the gender thing, it all still plays a huge role in my life. I do still deal with gender dysphoria um, and I'm not ashamed to say that it's a very real thing and I, I feel like by sharing we can relate to one another and get through this whole life experience together life's a trip man there's ups there's downs when you're transgender sometimes the entire world can feel like it's against you and What's helped me the most is to really do the best I can to pull myself out of any kind of victim mode, victim mentality of thinking that the whole world's against me or thinking that no one understands. Because I want to tell you, everybody, there are people that understand what you're going through. And there are also people that don't understand, but they want to understand. They empathize with you. They exist and they're out there. And I'm one of them. If you have any questions about being transgender or maybe you're just curious as to what it's like you know someone you work with someone please feel free to leave them in the comments below here I'd love to help in any way that I can I uh, I'll be 35 next month I've been out and open as a transgender person since 2004 um, I'm biologically female I've honestly have always felt that I was supposed to be a boy however you want to word that supposed to be I am um, it all started for me right before the age of five. And coincidentally, that's when most experts, doctors, whatever, will tell you that most human beings will start to discover their gender identity, regardless of the genitalia they have, at around the age of five. So that was on point for me. And when I was talking earlier about spiritually spirituality wrapping up, intertwining with being transgender, that's, it's a very important thing for me to attempt to put in words because it has helped me tremendously. I lived uh, almost a decade in my 20s, my late teens and my 20s as somebody who was more in the victim mode and I was not tapped into any kind of higher source or belief. I still had beliefs from when I was a kid and I was raised in a religion. However, I I went into party mode. I went into victim mode. I... Um, I really let myself go and when I started to go back toward that light, the light within me, the light that is that is source energy, I just I never felt better. I never felt better and, and I'm not preaching a religion, I'm not preaching anything. It's, it's more about finding yourself and as cliche or cheesy as that might sound, I believe that wholeheartedly. It is, it's about going within and finding yourself. And a lot of times the distress that I feel as a transgender person is from the outside world. So when we stop worrying so much about what the outside world thinks of trans people or thinks of other people or people of other races, nationalities, whatever, what people think of folks that are different than them, when we stop worrying about these judgmental people, life becomes a lot more breathable, a lot more livable, a lot more fun, a lot more whole and happy. And life is not always blissful unicorns. That's not what spirituality is about. Spirituality is about growing and being the best version of yourself that you can. And also loving and nurturing yourself when you find and discover aspects of yourself that aren't so awesome. You know, and not hating on yourself. And I'm doing the best to take that advice myself because I can be one of those people that beat myself up pretty hard. I have to remember that's my ego talking. And I did a video earlier. I'll post it up at some point here. Um, I did a video a couple months ago about integrating your ego and your higher self. Now that loving energy, that's your higher self. That's your higher consciousness. And 
that voice, that, that whatever you want to call it, that's saying, you know, you're not good enough or you have to do this better or you blah, blah, blah. That's your ego. And I used to always try to hide from that and, oh, that doesn't exist. It's bad. Nothing bad. I learned that the more you resist things, the more, first off, they're going to persist. And second off, it's all perspective. Things aren't actually just bad or good. It's all how you look at them, right? For some person, something great could be something awful and vice versa. And I started focusing more on all of this. All of this is it, it just my perspective. Okay, a trans, being a transgender person, I don't have to think it's a bad thing. Honestly, let's see what's some great things about being transgender. I get to see the world through the perspective that most people don't experience in their lifetime. That's something interesting to share. It helps me to also embrace more of my masculinity and my femininity like in a whole and, and be more well-rounded in that sense. And I'm very grateful for that. That's an amazing thing. It, it's a blessing. And uh, that's what I'm, that's what I'm rolling with and what I have been for a while. And it's been working for me. And there are are days where I experience gender dysphoria, but I have to do things to love myself. When I'm feeling kind of crappy about myself, I get in my car and I go to the gym or you walk around the neighborhood if you don't go to a gym. Get yourself moving. Make yourself feel good about being in your skin. And it's it's not always that easy, y'all. It's not, it's not always just, oh, go to the gym and it solves everything and my gender dysphoria will go away. I understand that and I respect that. And that's why I'm so glad, too, that there are options out there for reassignment surgery, for taking hormones. I'm, I'm speaking, all I can speak from is my own perspective, right? So I'm speaking from the perspective of somebody who has chose not to transition. So I do deal with a lot of gender dysphoria, and I deal with being misgendered all the time. And uh, it just, to me, it's... It's just become normal almost because I've been doing this now for so many years since 2004 I've been openly saying I am transgender coming out of the closet so to say When you become comfortable with yourself the opinions of others don't matter as much and I do a lot of prayers and meditation to let shit go because whether I'm transgender or not there's going to be people in life that upset me. There's going to be people that come along and, and it's a reflection of myself though. That's where it gets really deep. That's where that shadow work and spirituality comes in. When somebody's upsetting me, a lot of times their behavior is a reflection of behavior I don't like about myself. And then it's, it's time to let that go. It's time to let that behavior go. So that's where I dig more into spirituality as opposed to being transgender, like that's more a part of my daily life is, okay, I, I gotta get my meditation in today. I gotta have my peaceful time and do my deep breathing. I uh, gotta, I'm watching what I eat. I wanna eat high vibrational foods. I'm, you know, I'm, I wanna make sure I get my green smoothie in for today. I get my exercise. I do my mile on my bike, whatever it is for you. That's, that's what I like to do. And that has become, again, so important to me and being transgender is still important to me too but the two have intertwined and it's almost like medicine for my soul are my spiritual beliefs and communicating with my higher power communicating and praying to angels and seeing angel synchronicities that that is my light that is my love and I wish you all the very best I would love to help answer any questions if you have them about spirituality on any kind of level or being transgender. So feel free to leave them below. Much love y'all. See you next time.